To abide means wait patiently for, to remain in place, to continue to be sure or firm, and to endure. In general, an abomination is something abhorrent or disgusting. Things that are a cause for abhorrence or disgust. Some translations of the Bible use this word often, such as the Amplified Version, whereas others use it seldom or not at all. It is used in several contexts, such as things that are unholy and an affront to God, various forms of moral depravity, or sins in general. The word apocrypha is not found in the Bible, but is used to describe several Old Testament books that aren't included in all versions of the Bible, such as the Protestant and Hebrew Bibles. However, these books are all found in the Revised Standard Version, RSV, and the Common English Bible, CB, among others. The Septuagint, an ancient Greek translation of the Jewish scriptures, which was widely used in Jesus' day, also contains these books of the Apocrypha. Apostasy is to abandon, denounce, reject, or fall away from one's faith. Various translations of the Bible uses others' words, which also mean apostasy, such as faithfulness, waywardness, rebellion, and turning away. A person who commits apostasy is called an apostate. An apostle is one who is sent by another as an envoy. As such, apostles of Jesus are those that he sends to represent him in the world. As such, Jesus himself could even be considered an apostle of his Father in heaven, Hebrews 3 verse 1. More commonly, apostle refers to followers of Jesus. Often the terms disciple and apostle are used interchangeably, although some would say that a disciple is one of the original twelve followers, whereas an apostle is a more generic term that applies to all followers of Jesus. Adjective. Apostolic. Christianity. Pertaining to apostles or their practice of teaching pertaining to the apostles of early Christianity or their teachings, an apostolic mission, according to the doctrines of the apostles, delivered or taught by the apostles, apostolic faith or practice. The Bible says to put on the full armor of God. Though this might seem like a call for military action, it's merely a memory aid to help people remember key items needed to prevail in spiritual conflict, namely, truth, righteousness, sharing the gospel, faith, salvation, and the Word of God, the only offensive tool of the group. In the Bible, the ascension occurred after Jesus rose from the dead and left the earth by rising up to heaven. In this, he literally ascended from the earth up into the sky, as recorded in Mark 16 verses 19 to 20, Luke 24 verses 50 to 53, and Acts 1 verses 9 to 11. Key verse about ascension. Jesus said, Do not hold on to me for I have not yet ascended to the Father. Go instead to my brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. John 20 verse 17, in IV. In a generic sense, atonement is the act of making amends or reparation for a wrong or injury. It is to reconcile. When considering God, atonement then becomes the action by which we are made right with Him for the wrong things we have done. Jesus provided that atonement for us when he was executed for our crimes, that is, when he died for our sins. Prior to Jesus, in the Old Testament, the priests offered periodic sacrifices as a temporary atonement for the sins of the people. 